trademarks are something that can often be confusing when it comes to low content books and many singular and common words that we use in our daily language can often appear to be trademarked. So should you use them or should you avoid them? In this video I'm going to try to clear the confusion and go over my six step process for checking for trademarks. And just a disclaimer that I'm not a trademark expert or someone who understands trademarks fully and deals with them. I'm not giving you any advice on how you should check for trademarks. This is just me showing you the process I go through to check for trademarks on my books. So step number one is are the words or phrases that you want to use of a famous or popular brand or related to a brand? For example, Nike, Coca-Cola, Mercedes, Pokemon, Harry Potter. So most people are aware of these brands and they know that they're popular. And if that's the case, then you want to totally avoid them. There's no point in even checking for trademarks on them. And if I go over here, you can see that I typed in popular brands and you can see that there's hundreds or thousands of these kinds of brands. So you want to totally avoid them. And what you also want to do is avoid words that are linked to certain brands. For example, you can see here that I've typed in Harry Potter related words. So if I just zoom in, you can see that there's all these words. So Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and there's so many different words that are related to Harry Potter. And if that's the case and you're aware of them, then you should also avoid them. And if you're not aware of them, then you should Google it to find out. And sometimes what you might find is that certain books on Amazon, they're using words such as Harry Potter or words that are related to Harry Potter or other popular brands. And you shouldn't just go by what they're doing and think that since they're doing it, it's okay for you to also publish books with these kinds of words. They're taking that risk and sooner or later, Amazon can take action. What you should do is think about your own books and your own account and you want to take measures to prevent any potential trademark violations. The second step is I ask myself is the word that I want to use a famous person's or a celebrity's name. For example Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo or other sports persons names or celebrities names film stars tv stars etc if that's the case then what you want to do is once again you want to totally avoid these kinds of words and once again there's no point in even checking for trademarks on them and the third step is singular and common language or dictionary words so this is something that people often get confused by so some examples of these kinds of words are airplane boat pizza logbook coloring book etc and sometimes you'll find that if you go to the USPTO website that these words appear to be trademarked. So if I just zoom in, you can see that the word logbook appears to be trademarked. And then over here, you can see that uh, the word coloring books. So this one over here, it also appears to be trademarked and people get confused about this. So what you should do is realize that common words are highly unlikely to be trademarked, even though they appear to be. So even though on the USPTO website, words such as log books and coloring books appear to be trademarked, it's highly unlikely that you can't use them. And for assurance, what you can do is just type in these words onto Amazon. So you can see that I typed in log books and there's thousands or hundreds of thousands of these kinds of books and books that are well established and from years back. It's highly unlikely that these kinds of words are actually trademarked because if that was the case, then Amazon would have removed them years ago and they wouldn't have had the chance to acquire thousands of sales and reviews throughout the years and over here once again you can see that I typed in coloring books and there's hundreds or thousands of these kinds of books so even though the word coloring book appears to be trademarked it's highly unlikely that it is once again because there's all these established books that have thousands of reviews and are many years old and the fourth step is singular uncommon words or language for example Patronus so this particular word Patronus is related to a famous brand. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, then, you know, you'll know that the word Patronus is related to Harry Potter. And if that's the case, then you want to, of course, totally avoid it. But let's say you're not aware of the word, then what you should do is Google it. And if you find that it's related to a famous brand, then you should totally avoid it. And if you Google it and don't find any results, then what you should do is head over to the USPTO website and then type it in. So I'm just going to type it in now. And then what you want to do is just search for it to see if anything appears. And then if it does, then you want to check the category as well. So you just want to open these up and just check the categories. So what you're looking for is 016 category. You can see that this particular word is registered for 014, 002, etc. But it's not registered for 016. And if that's the case, then you might want to use it. 
But as we already know that the word Patronus is related to a famous brand, which in this case is Harry Potter, then even though it's not registered for 016 category, you want to avoid it. And the next step for checking for trademarks are uncommon phrases such as keto diet, bullet journal, at a glance, etc. So what you want to do is you want to check for trademarks on these kinds of words. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is head over to the USPTO website. So it's just USPTO.gov forward slash trademarks forward slash search or you can just google it to come to this website and what you want to do is just click over here where it says trademark electronic search and then you want to click on basic word mark search and then you want to click on live and then you just want to search for it here so i'm just going to type in bullet journal and you can see that there's three results so i'm just going to open them up and then you just want to check to see if they're registered for the 016 category and you can see that looking at the first one it's registered for the category 016 so 016 is a category that's related to notebooks journals etc and if you find that these kinds of phrases are registered for this category then you want to totally avoid using that phrase otherwise it may be safe to use it on your books and then the final step is common phrases famous quotes or sentences for example just a girl who loves sloth so what you want to do is check for trademarks on these kinds of quotes or phrases and just over here you can see that i typed in just a girl who loves sloth so let's say you want to create these kinds of books then make sure you check them on the uspto website and if you find that they're registered for the category 016 then you want to avoid them otherwise it may be safe to use them so these are the six steps I go through for checking for trademarks on words and phrases and if you want to you can download these six steps I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And I'm just going to wrap up this video and if you want to learn about how to keep your account safe and to never get terminated then check out the video on the screen now where I go over seven things you should avoid to never get terminated. And if you found this video useful then don't forget to like it and thank you for watching.